Hi everyone, it's me, Lana, and yes, I'm marking old fashion along our back up in this bitch, and I'm wearing my black food. So, alright, I told you the before, I mean after Christmas, that I was supposed to get a package that never came. So, it finally came. This is my monster backpack. It's from I Heart Rave, and it has like a zipper in its mouth and everything. This is what it's supposed to be looking like. It kind of looks like that. It's just not as dark. The backpack is quite small, so if you wanted to actually wear this to use this more than a wallet or just your keys and hmm, for like, I don't know. I'm just going to put little stuff in here so I can keep everybody's phones or keep anybody who's near me's phone and wallet in handy. You know. Alright. So I'm going to give you the pros and cons of this backpack if you buy it from my heart rate. Alright. This is the original strap. This is the original strap. This is an add-on that I put on. It's an old belt. I didn't use it as much so I cut it in half and sewed it. Alright. What I noticed when I bought this bag, if you can see this, I did this, is the original strap was this big really really you think my fucking arm could fit through this and then especially with the extender supposed to be helping didn't help that much if you put it all the way down and it's the original strap this is how much it is with the original strap um you're selling this on a rave website, have a grown ass woman wear it. Um, I'm not gonna say because she's skinny she can wear it, but don't fucking alter shit if a grown ass woman is wearing it. This, like, when I got this and I tried it on, I couldn't get, even get the second strap on. That was made me mad. And I'm like, this is like basically a kid's bag, kid's strap, and I was really pissed. So, oh. And don't get me started when I looked at the seam stuff to, like, um, see what I could do to it. This shit, the fucking real strap that was in the, the slip fold just ripped on out. Just ripped out. It was, like, the shittiest seam work I ever seen. It was just bullshit. So, if you got an old belt that's black, soft, you can do whatever texture or you can do an actual strap. All you have to do is loop it through this actual hole, cut the real one off of here, that is attached to the bag, sew, sew it into the bag. Like, I sewed the, the two pieces together with a sewing machine, and then I hand-stitched it in. Bam! What girls in Taiwan say what? Alright. Alright, another thing that made me mad about this, when I got it in, look at the eyeball. Why the fuck is it scratched? Like... And then, you can't really see it, but they tried to cover it with black marker. Like, instead of just taking this off the lot, taking this one off, the conveyor belt, and just redoing its eyeballs, they're just like, I'm gonna scribble it in because it's a waste of time. It's like, it's not like I'm paying for this. <laughs> but, no. Everything else about it is pretty damn good. I knew it was gonna be the way it was, like the kind of fabric, so I'm happy about it because I could fix it. If you want to know more how I fixed it and stuff, um, comment below. Mm -hmm. But on to the next thing, I bought a monster kit that goes on top of your head and comes with little gloves. We're about to see that now. This is the monster hair kit. So it's pretty good. It's like little cute fuzziness and has little teeth where it looks like it's munching on your head. It's really cute. But it's some pros and cons to this stupid thing. Alright. I'm gonna take this off my head. Alright. Alright. If you look at this, it's pretty damn arts and craftsy. Like, I should have just made this on my own. I probably would have did a better job. It looks like didn't really try that hard on this thing. 
just not the business right now. Like this came with little fuzzy gloves. What I thought was gonna come in this package was these fuzzy gloves. But I didn't get those gloves. I got some retarded ass gloves that look like this. So these are the gloves that I'm talking about. I already thrown them away because I was getting really pissed with them. So I drew a visual. So in the glove, when you stick your hand in it, it's really tight. And the fabric inside is the back side of the flex fabric. So nothing was in there to make it comfortable. So it was rough and gluey. I tried to cut it to make it shorter so it could go like right here instead of like right here because it was just too tight and it was unmanageable. It was just like, fuck that shit. So I threw them away. Alright, so this monster kit headband costs 15 bucks from our heart rate. Shoot yourself right in the brain. The only thing that's worth it is this and I know some people are crafty like I am to make this on their own. Make this on your own, but if you really want the headband and the stupid ass gloves, I think you just you should just buy the headband. The headband could have been on a better headband if it was going to be sold all by itself. But the headband is worth it, the fucking gloves are not. Want it? Buy it. But know that those gloves suck. So Thanks for listening and thanks for watching. I love it. So, like, comment, and subscribe.